Hi guys, welcome to this video for the Meta Customization System. Today we're going to be looking at uh, our latest update, version 1.1. And uh, as you can see here, I've got a uh, fantasy game um, actually running and uh, fully playable. So this is one of the uh, major updates that has been added to version 1.1 okay we now have uh, a playable fantasy game template uh, with a start screen and a uh, customization screen and um, in, in this particular video we have our meta human um, actually uh, customized and uh, I'm going to start from the beginning to uh, cover uh, this first topic of the RPG uh, template basically uh, to begin with the RPG template, uh, what you'll get is a, a start screen and uh, where you can also uh, start a new game or you can also continue the current game you're playing. So uh, this is the character that I was using, okay? Um, a male metahuman that has been customized to look a little bit orcish elvish. Um, I'm going to go to slot 2 where I have another character uh, and so um, with this character of course I can customize her I'll just speed this up a little bit and then we'll get back to our game after I'm done customizing So we started a new game here. And uh, once we started a new game, everything will be reset. Our stats will be reset. Um, we won't have any extra health or stamina or anything like that. So as you can see, we're playing with a female character now. Totally different look. Um, the reason why uh, she might not look as detailed as what we had in the customization screen is uh, because the customization screen has a lot more uh, lights. Uh, whereas this scene is a little bit cheaper. It doesn't have as many shadows or details as our customization scene but yeah so you do get that template where you can uh, uh, start from a customize it from a start screen to a customization screen to a uh, actual playable game and uh, meta human character fully uh, functioning so um, yeah that's uh, one of the first major updates that's that's been uh, added to this project so uh, we'll take a look at uh, what else uh, has been has been added here so I'm just going to exit and uh, I'll fire up a uh, project so uh, this is the version that you are actually going to get when you download it as you know we can't add meta humans to our projects as marketplace uh, creators, which is why they're actually the major reason why some of these projects have to be so complicated so that uh, we're able to communicate with uh, your meta humans, um, even though they're not uh, in the project by default. Okay. So, yes, uh, when you open up your meta customization system, a maps folder and the demo map, demo map, this is what you will get first of all. But uh, since it has been updated, you will have some extra uh, functionality here. Um, of course, you have your regular uh, dummy character there and uh, it is customizable. Okay. Uh, but a meta human, as I've said, does not uh, come uh, pre-installed 
So once you've installed your MetaHuman, as you already know, your MetaHuman will be replacing that dummy character. You get uh, two extra options here, which you didn't have in version one. Uh, so in 1.1, you have a uh, start third person character, okay, and start RPG game, okay. So we've taken a look at the RPG game already. Um, if we first look at start third person character on this version, I click there, um, you get a little start screen, okay, meta human customization system, uh, which you can replace with your own game is uh, start, start screen, okay. And if I click on new game, um, basically, um, I'll get a uh, character creation screen where I can create my character and do all the customization. And uh, since we don't have a meta human, we're not going to go through the customization. I will just uh, click on finish. And uh, basically, you get the third person character template for Unreal Engine already set up and uh, playable with your with your character. Okay. So this will be your MetaHuman character once everything is uh, completely uh, set up, okay? But in its raw state, uh, this is what you will get, okay? And uh, now uh, I'll exit and press play again on the demo map. I'm back on the on the demo map. This time we'll click on Start RPG Game, and uh, basically you will get uh, what I showed you at the beginning of the video. It's the RPG start screen. We can click on new game here and uh, we get to customize our RPG game character with uh, whatever we want. And uh, when, once we click on finish, our RPG game will load up and uh, we will have our customized meta human ready to play there. Okay. Uh, and there it is. Okay, we'll just pretend that uh, the MetaHuman is already set up. And uh, yeah, it's basically the same thing that uh, we had at the beginning of the video. We can go and our attack our zombies here. And uh, we can save by pressing F there. Uh, so we've clicked on save. Uh, if we exit if we exit the game and press play again and uh, start RPG game, this time if we press continue, we will of course continue from where we left off. Okay. Okay, so uh, that's the second uh, major feature. Um, so the other thing that we will quick, quickly take a look at that has been added in this uh, first update is uh, there's been uh, some changes to, or well, no, there's been some changes and there's been some additions, okay? In terms of additions, we I have added a uh, pre-made uh, blueprints folder here where we have all our pre-made characters. Um, when I click on play here, what you are seeing here now is just the plain BP MetaHuman uh, female or BP MetaHuman male, okay? Um, the way these are now is that uh, if we double click on one of these, what we get, get is uh, basically our, our meta customization system functionality for our blueprint. But this time around, um, this is now a uh, MetaHuman blueprint, okay? Uh, so as you can see here, we've got all our MetaHuman features uh, from uh, our live link and our re uh, live retargeter, uh, our LOD sync, our kit face, and everything else that comes with uh, our MetaHuman characters, okay? So using this preset, we can now uh, actually uh, make the process of adding a MetaHuman much faster because we do not have to set up all of these blueprints they are already set up for us, okay? And what you can do is uh, you can go to your uh, you can go to your uh, Quixel bridge and you can add your MetaHuman directly to this blueprint. So if you've got a female or a male MetaHuman 
you can download that MetaHuman. I'll just, I've already got mine downloaded. I'll just quickly add them to this project. Um, I think I may have to turn on some, uh, I may have to turn on some plugins, but uh, I'll just quickly add a uh, MetaHuman to this project. Um, let me choose this one here and export it to this project. And uh, let me also choose a female and export it to this project, but I'll probably only show you how to set up one and uh, you can set the rest of the work up uh, on your own uh, for the other gender. So what I will do is uh, I'm going to add this female metahuman. Okay, so my uh, metahuman has been added. I will go back to my pre-made blueprints and uh, I'll open up image female. This is the pre-made female metahuman blueprint. Um, I'll choose the face and I'll just show you an example of how this new blueprint works. Um, so basically you just go to your installed MetaHuman or your added MetaHuman there. You click on the face folder and uh, you find the face and you replace the face which is here. So if I add that there, the face will be replaced with uh, Kendra's face, our new MetaHuman. And uh, when I click on play, um, we now have Kendra's face there. Um, if you if you look at that quickly, it came up for just a second and it disappeared. Disappeared. So there's just a little bit more we have to do because uh, we do get to choose different faces to add to this system. So let's just go up to the faces here and add the same asset, leave it selected in your concept browser and add this same asset to uh, the faces section uh, that is uh, female faces um, or male faces. Uh, this should just, should just be called faces because it's two codes female faces and the male blueprint, but uh, you can add the male faces. So you just add them to the skeletal mesh asset and now if we click play again, our face is now our metahuman uh, face. Okay. So you do the same with uh, all the remaining assets. Um, let's go back to the BP MH female, where we just added the faces. Um, you basically do the same with all the remaining assets, the feet, if, if, uh, or actually not the feet, but basically just the face, uh, and the hairs, eyebrows, uh, the eyelashes. And, uh, I think, I think you get the, you get the point. Another major change, um, that has been added is with the BP meta styler. Um, this blueprint was a little bit, uh, more complicated than it needed to be. So I have uh, changed the process, especially of uh, um, the inventory, switching between clothing, uh, props and outfits and uh, all other kinds of things uh, is now just done within a few nodes. Um, for example, if you press costume button one, um, it will just save it as costume one and change the skeleton mesh. And when you need to load the costume, it will just uh, get uh, the name of whichever costume you were last using. So since I was talking about costume one, it would get uh, costume one and uh, basically load costume one and change the, the, the skeletal mesh and move on from there. Okay, what that looks like uh, while we're playing is uh, something like this. Um, click, click on costumes and if I click on costume one, uh, that's exactly what has happened. It knows I've pressed costume one because this is the first button and uh, that information has been saved out. The skeletal mesh has been changed. And uh, the next time I click on play, 
um, that's exactly what is going to be loaded. Okay, as you can see, that is what has fired there. Okay, and adding to this system is very, very simple. All you have to do is uh, maybe add a, a, a uh, another button to the widget um, because we've got uh, eight buttons here. So six of them are actual clothing buttons and uh, one of them is a remove clothing button. Okay, so if I add more buttons here, I could connect them to uh, these custom in events and basically just tell it that, uh, I'll, oh, I've added an extra costume. So the next one I add here will be costume eight. And uh, basically I can just uh, switch to that costume using this exact same system. Um, I will make a full tutorial on that, but it is very, very simple to add on. Just copy paste what you see here and uh, add whatever else is needed. You add an extra skeleton mesh and you set an extra skeleton mesh for your eighth costume. And uh, when you're saving, you basically save an eighth skeleton mesh. Okay. And uh, it will be very, very simple. Maybe just a two minute or five minute uh, process to add another outfit to uh, the entire blueprint. Okay. Yeah, that same goes for skin, hair, props, clothing, costumes, uh, everything. Okay. Uh, everything is using the exact same system. Okay. And it's very, very simple now. If you uh, remember the old one, it was uh, quite actually up here. It took up this entire space. So it was uh, way too, way too big. Um, but now it's, it's small and simplified. Okay, so um, those are really the the most uh, major features uh, that have been added in this first update. So I will continue to update this, but uh, this is just a little preview of what uh, you're going to uh, get. And um, this update will not be available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace immediately. Uh, actually, it won't be on the, available on the Unreal Engine Marketplace at all because our updating projects has actually been shut down for their Unreal Engine Marketplace. And uh, when Fab launches, that's when uh, we will be able to give you updates on our products again. Okay. So uh, if you do need this update immediately, uh, please visit the Discord. I'll link it in the, uh, in the top comment on the video. And uh, you can contact me. And you can let me know uh, that you need this immediately. You can uh, provide your inv invoice, uh, your proof of payment. And uh, once I've uh, confirmed it with uh, the Unreal Engine Marketplace team, I will send you um, the updated uh, version 1.1 1 .1, uh, files. Okay. But until then, uh, we are all just waiting for Fab Marketplace to open up because uh, we cannot uh, update our projects at the moment. So uh, that's when you will get this uh, new update. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I will continue working on, on more and more features. But uh, until Fab is up, uh, um, you, you will have to contact me directly in order to get this update. Okay. So I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video.